Hello, hot dogs. This is Greg Stanley. Welcome to Auto Sausage, where we grind together automotive awesomeness. So today we're going to visit Cars from a Christmas Story, that awesome movie that is seen 24 hours a day on Christmas on TBS, and six sensational auto spots in six cities that I've recently visited. So if you are more of a visual person, be sure to check out my new Auto Sausage YouTube page. Please subscribe, and you will see more and more videos pop in there as I'm trying to transition a bunch of cool videos from one site to another, and it's not that easy on YouTube. So I will have a brief location for walkthroughs for a few of these spots today, not all of them. And my goal is to have a walkthrough, if it's only a minute, minute and a half, few minutes, uh, just a little overview of each of these cool places I visit while on my travels. And I promise I will get a gimbal, so the vomit-inducing shakiness will end soon. So I apologize for the quality but it still gives you a little bit of an overview of these cool places I'm visiting while selling candy for Bazooka. So if you're listening on this through the LFO Learn From Others podcast, future Auto Sausage episodes will be available only on the Auto Sausage channel on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, wherever podcasts are found. So be sure to subscribe there. Okay. Well, as a reminder, play the Auto Sausage auction game to win tickets to the Cincinnati Concourse Elegance by guessing what... Five cool cars I picked will sell for at the Mecham Indianapolis auction coming up in a few weeks. So this is a way you can win cool prizes, and the prizes will continue to get better. I know one of the future auctions I have, I think it's for the Monterey Car Week, I have about $200 worth of autographed Star Wars trading cards, so be sure to listen up and sign up for that. I will send you a monthly auto sausage email, but I swear no spamming. You will get one about every four to six weeks, so not a lot of emails but a lot of payoff for staying tuned to the auto auction auction game. So I've already reviewed the Cheetah, the 1963 Cheetah, and the Paul Newman Porsche I found in the backwoods of Georgia a few years ago. I think I even covered the Pantera a little bit. So I will do a deep dive on all five, including what I guess they will sell for and why before the auction. And then you can post yours as well. And during the auction, you can track and see how you're doing I'm going to try to keep it live on the website updates, but I'm not sure that's going to be possible because I plan on being at Indy for the Meekum show, and I'll probably live stream a few videos on Instagram. So the window for guessing the correct bid is open now, and it closes the day prior to the auction. So be sure to check out my Instagram pictures from these visits at Auto Sausage. I'll show that for those of you on YouTube right now. I just pulled up my... Uh, in page where I will post a lot, including ones from today and uh, some future places I have already visited and have them in the hopper. So you can also check out all this information on the Auto Sauce website, which I also have pulled up here on YouTube. You can click to play the Auto, so Auto Sausage auction game. You can click to listen to the podcast, which you're already doing. And then you can click if you'd like to be a product sponsor for one of these auto sausage games as well. So we're being heard in over 40 countries. So if you have something cool you'd like to get the word out, just shoot me a quick note and we'll see what we can work out. So cars from a Christmas story. If you haven't been to the Christmas story house, I highly recommend you go there. It's up in the Cleveland area, not far from downtown Cleveland. So uh, I went up there a few weeks ago for a trade show. And I will post these pictures on Instagram shortly, but they have on site there the 1938 Oldsmobile Touring Sedan. I don't believe it was the actual one in the movie, but it's the one where Ralphie drops, I think he drops the F-bomb. And anyway, so if it's not the actual one in the movie, it is one exactly like it. I can't remember. I have to look at that. I know I took a picture of it, and I took a picture of the uh, the sign that says exactly what it's all about. Uh, the other one they have there is the 1939 Ford fire truck that came out when the little kid got his tongue stuck on the pole. So I will post those pictures as well. And the gift store was really kind of crazy. It was because you could buy like Ralphie's, uh, banana, not banana, bunny suit. Here we go. Uh, you can buy pink nightmare ornament from a Christmas story for $16.99. You can buy ties. You can buy the leg lamp. All sorts of cool and interesting things. So I will post a few pictures of that as well. I did not take a video of this store. So unfortunately, there is not one on YouTube. But there will be plenty of pictures on Instagram. So the next place I want to talk about is Prestige Motor Cars in Clifton Park, New York. Again, these pictures will be posted soon. This was a really cool place. The tour was provided by Tom Stark. Really nice guy. The owner is Joe Virilio. I believe that's how you say Jim. 
and they plan on changing the name to Verlio Motor Cars or something of that effect. But really great place, super nice guys. They specialize in Corvettes, but there were a lot of I've got this pulled up on the YouTube channel right now. Some newer Corvettes. There's a a Porsche, uh, pretty much all specialty vehicles or motorcycles, but a lot of older Corvettes. And one I will post on Instagram is a 1967 unrestored preservation, uh, dark green. I don't know the correct color, but uh, this unrestored Corvette that was really cool. And then another one that I absolutely fell in love with is down here. Here it is. This 1967 Corvette convertible 427 car, white with a blue top, blue stinger hood, and blue uh not red line blue line tires and they're asking i think hundred twenty thousand dollars for that car a little bit out of my price range but it is a absolutely gorgeous wonderful car so i will be passing through there again in about four weeks or so and they offered to take me on a private tour of a local collection so if i am able to film that and share that i will otherwise i will keep it totally under wraps speaking of under wraps i was given a tour of a private collection up in maine a few weeks ago I can't tell you where it is, and I'll have some specifics on the next podcast, but it was really cool. The owner has, I believe it's the Ford Model T, every model, coupe, cabriolet, every model that was made from 1932 to 1958. Just an amazing sight to see. I wasn't able to take pictures of that collection, but I was able to take a few pictures of some of the memorabilia close by and a couple of the cars that were in their shop. So more to come on that shortly. Now the next spot I wanted to talk about is Custom Rod and Muscle CRM in Salina, Ohio. So I just happened to find this again when I was traveling on my visits. Oh, real quick, Prestige Motor, I will have a video out. It's already up on YouTube. So it's a quick walk around some of the Corvettes. Uh, really cool stuff they're doing there. So check that out on the YouTube channel. So CRM, no video, but they specialize in muscle cars, and they have the cool stuff. My favorite there was probably this 1958 Impala, like a exterior color. It's a turquoise, $99,000, beautiful convertible. I think this is a one-year-only Impala, because I think it changed in 59, and it was a different car in 57. Uh, so really cool, interesting car. And they have a lot of different things here. A couple more of your... I don't want to say price conscious because some of these things are $100,000, but do have quite a few cars that are much more in the interest. If you're just wanting to get into the muscle car hobby, I'll see if I can find one here as I scroll on the website. These are all 50 to 60 grand. I knew I saw them. Oh, here we go. 64 Chevrolet Biscayne, $4,500. It's a uh, bit work, but it could be a nice little driver. There's a 1974 Kelmar Ferrari. I don't know what that is. Probably some type of kit car for $6,500. And there's a, well, that's a wagon that needs a lot of work. So there's a couple drivers here. Here's a 1934 American Austin Phantom for $18,000. So there's some here, 1950 Plymouth Deluxe. Looks like a nice driver for $6,500. So you don't have to spend a ton of money to get into this hobby. Uh, and like I said, uh, they're, actually, I don't think there's a video for this car, but you can check it out now. Uh, their website has, that I'm cruising on as we speak. The next thing I wanted to mention is I did go to a really cool cruise-in down in Florida at Lady Lake, Florida. This is close to the Villages, which is a huge retirement community down there. So I posted some pictures on Instagram, and I'll have to say... Oh, I, and there is a video. There's a video of a parade of Ford Model Ts and Model A. So that was pretty cool. It's probably about 40 of these Model Ts taking off to go to the actual car show lot, which was really neat. The coolest car I saw there was a Nash Rambler, a 1957 wagon. And then this, uh, if you're looking on YouTube, this uh, Ford... Bronco, it's one of the rare ones, the convertibles with the windshield that goes down and it has the uh, inserts for the doors. And this one looked really original. So I have to say, I took some kind of cool pictures as the sun was going down. So it's a light yellow color, looked really original, really cool car. And I think that was the only ones I took. Yeah. So check that out. And then the next thing I'd like to talk about is one of my favorite spots to talk, stop near Cleveland in Solon. I'm probably saying that right, wrong. S O L O N, Ohio is called R and L Motor Car Group. And if you're on my Instagram page, I took a picture of the private collection of some Porsches there, GT3 RS, some really cool rare stuff. A couple years ago, they had a '92 yellow Porsche Turbo that only had 22 miles, and I heard that it sold for four hundred thousand dollars. So I don't know where that is right now in the collection. If you're watching on YouTube, these are some of their pictures from the personal collection of the owner. But it's a really nutty, crazy place. They do some hot rod work there. They were putting in an LS9 Corvette ZR1. I think they have that correct engine. 
in like a 1955 Corvette, which is just totally insane. So a lot of Porsches, a lot of low mile stuff there as well, which is really fun and interesting to see. So if you're in the Cleveland area, be sure to check it out. And on their website, which I just pulled up, they also do some of the early 70s stuff. They have, or mid 70s, they have a 77 Cadillac Eldorado for like 16 grand. And if I remember correctly, it was really low miles, like 24,000 miles. That's where cars is coming out now as the generation ages. They also have one of these Corvettes by CRC. I don't remember what that stands for, but it's basically an old looking Corvette, a 67 Corvette, but it's on a like 2006 Corvette chassis. So the interior, the running gear, the wheels, the tires, the engine, the drivetrain, all of that is new, but it has the cool classic look. And usually they have a lot of really low mile cars, two Ferraris in here as well. Uh, they have just some really rare, cool, interesting things. They're super nice. So if you get a chance, check them out for sure. And our next one, we only have two more to go here. So I know I'm covering a lot. I've been a lot of traveling. I've been doing a lot of traveling lately, seeing a lot of cool stuff. So I need to get it out of my system. But the next one is GR Auto Gallery up in Grand Rapids. Fantastic place. It's a consignment shop, but they have great quality, great um, selection there. On Instagram, I've already posted these. I might post a few of them again. Uh, one of the cars I fell in love with was this uh, 1984, 85, 86 Porsche 944 Turbo. What I liked about it is it was like a light silvery bluish gray with a brown interior. So it was a very interesting color combination. Those turbos are going up a lot. If you reference my discussion about uh, Jerry Seinfeld's cars from a few weeks ago, I talked about the 944s he bought. Be sure to check that out. And they also have some other cool stuff here. Uh, I, I focus in on the Porsches, but they have a lot of cars. Uh, one of the cars that I talked about in another episode was the Allard. So if you haven't heard my story on the Allard, it's probably still up there. Uh, interesting story, interesting car. I think one of the reasons it got hit is the folks that were selling it were asking a whole lot of money. And then there was a YouTube video of the appraisal of the car where a lot of issues showed up. And so now that car's went down in price a little bit. Still reasonable, though. Still a really cool car. Let me pull it up here real quick. So there's the Allard I was talking to you about. So super cool car. I would love to have that thing. So anyways, check out GR Auto Gallery if you're up in the Grand Rapids area. Again, that's another spot. It's right by the airport. So if you're just flying in, quick Uber to get there, you won't be disappointed. And the last place I want to talk about is... Motor Cars Incorporated in Plainfield, Connecticut. So this is a more recent visit. And these guys are Jaguar specialists. You can see on their website right now. It's everything from the new stuff, old stuff. Uh, on their website, they, they don't have the really cool, interesting pictures of some of the that are in the back. So I did take those. They did allow me to take those pictures. So this is uh, owned by Dean and Joe Cusano. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. I believe they're an uncle and a nephew. They tag teamed the business. Great folks, great cars. Uh, when I asked Joe what was the one car he would want, it is this one. This is a 1968 Jaguar, but it's been hot rodded. He said just enough. So not only is it really cool looking, but it has the larger wheels, brakes, a little bit more horsepower. I didn't go through all the details with them, but he said it would be a fantastic driver car. And that one is up there, and that is for sale for $110,000. So just beautiful car. You'll see those pictures with the racing Jaguars. It was even a Lotus Caterham. Caterham down in the, in the back, a Ferrari, uh, but just some really cool cars. So I ran around there, took a bunch of pictures. Those will be posted here shortly, so be sure to check that out. So that's the Christmas Story House with their cars and six cool car places I visited and six cities recently. What's coming up next? Uh, I have Munich Motorsports in Windsor, Connecticut. That secret place in Maine, I'll go into a little bit more detail. I came across a Porsche racing shop up in New England. And then Iron Key outside of, well, actually the middle of nowhere, Wisconsin. And then I have a little local Corvette shop outside of Indianapolis. And then here in Cincinnati, I'm going to have an interview with Mark, who runs Metalcraft, the Porsche specialist, and a few other cool things. So check it out, and we will talk to you all next week. I will also do that deep dive for the Indie Show coming up soon. So we'll talk to you all soon. Thanks. Thanks.